Ecologism, or green theory, is a unique ideology in the sense that it is not concerned with relationships between different people, but rather with those between people and the environment. Ecologism attempts to transcend traditional political thought by viewing humanity as simply another part of a larger ecosystem, thereby expanding the view of politics to include humanity's interactions with the natural world around us. Like many more recent philosophical trends, ecologism became recognized as an ideology in its own right during the 1970s, through its role in the New Left movement. Concern for nature, however, is much older, as sustaining the natural environment and its resources has been an important part of all human civilizations. The major development that led to the establishment of ecologism was the concept of ecocentrism that came to form the basis of deep ecology. Essentially speaking, ecocentrism is the idea that human beings must view themselves and their societies as part of a larger whole, that whole being the natural world. Ecocentrism demands that we do not privilege an anthropocentric or human-centered view of the world. Instead, we should view human life as no more important than that of any other species on our planet. This concept of ecocentrism came to define a split within the environmentalist movement of the 1960s and 70s, as the idea was seen by many as too philosophical and out of touch to be useful. Today, that split remains, with environmentalists advocating for the adoption of green policies by governments and corporate bodies, while deep ecologists argue for deep-rooted societal change that leads to the adoption of ecocentric views by the general population. Environmentalism is a catch-all term applied to anyone who raises green issues within the context of government or wider society. Environmentalism views the solution to environmental degradation as existing either within existing societies or as achievable by overthrowing them. However, the unifying link between all forms of environmentalism is an anthropocentric approach. Liberalism in the modern day is associated with the light green and bright green strands of environmentalism. Light green environmentalism stresses the steps individual people can take to help the environment, such as reducing our carbon footprint, while bright green environmentalism emphasizes technological solutions to green issues, such as the development of plastic alternatives. Many Marxist-influenced socialists view capitalism as the reason for so much of the environmental degradation we see, and so advocate for the overthrow of capitalism as the answer to environmental problems. Others on the left criticize Marxism as materialistic, and instead try to combine support for environmentalism with the communitarian values of social democracy. Unlike Marxism, whose environmentalist credentials are constrained by its focus on material wealth, anarchism has long taken an interest in the natural world. The Russian anarchist Peter Kropotkin's influential theory of mutual aid was born out of his observations on how individual animals of certain species would support each other when threatened by natural dangers. Indeed, most forms of anarchism support a vision of society based around rural communes, where impact on the environment would be minimal. Conservatives see the preservation of a natural world as part of their obligation to conserve existing society, and indeed many, particularly rural, conservation and environmental protection organizations are influenced by conservative ideals. Deep ecology is, as has been discussed earlier, based around the ecocentric belief that human beings should view themselves as being part of a larger ecosystem. More than that, however, Deep ecologists view their ideology as an attempt to transform the way that human beings look at the world and their relationship to it. Deep ecologists see modern society as being stuck within what Fritjof Capra called the Newtonian Cartesian paradigm, a mechanistic understanding of the world that focuses on breaking down reality into component parts that can be analysed individually. Deep ecologists reject this, instead putting forward the view that everything in the world exists within a larger, natural, whole. 
This holistic approach draws inspiration from Buddhism and other mystic religions, and often, though not always, rejects the scientific method. The idea of sustainability is very important to deep ecologists, and is at the heart of their critiques of current society. Most deep ecologists view the destruction of the environment as a consequence of the materialism of the modern world, and so argue for limited or zero-growth policies that would lead humanity into a post-industrial age. Linked to this, some more extreme deep ecologists argue that governments should limit immigration and restrict birth rates in order to prevent overpopulation. Deep ecologists reject the idea that we should value nature purely for the needs or enjoyment it provides us as humans, rather that nature should be seen as having an intrinsic value that exists outside of human morality. This concept can be based on religious ideas about divine ethics, or a sense of equality that crosses the boundary between man and nature. Ecology is an unusual ideology, as its two main strands share little in common. Environmentalism of all stripes is concerned with influencing governmental and corporate policy, while deep ecology is a fundamentally intellectual phenomenon that has little influence outside of academia. Given the growing importance of green issues to the world, it seems likely that ecologism will become more relevant in the future, although in what form remains to be seen. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you had trouble understanding any terms used, then see the pinned comment for a small glossary. Otherwise, please like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell to see more discussions of political ideas.